Hey guys, welcome! Welcome to the live stream! And as you can see that I am... Look at that! I got myself a green screen! Here, just to prove it to you guys that uh, I'm using an actual green screen that and not a... Uh, am I talking? You can hear me. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, just to prove that I'm using an actual green screen and not a made-up one like using Zoom. Here it is! Uh, not this is uh, opacity. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I have a green screen. Look at that. You like it? I'm gonna post a picture of myself with uh, carrying this green screen outside tomorrow. Yeah, I got a green screen. Okay, going back to the game. I just got this today and I'm really excited to try it out. The problem is, it's basically my lighting. So I'm basically using a lamp. Here, uh, I can show you here. <laughs> Oops, can't spin it like that. So it's basically this. This is my lamp. And this is the only thing that's powering up my uh, green screen. And I think I messed up my design here. What do you mean, uh, can you be a mod? What do you mean? You want to be a mod? You, you want to be a chat mod? Uh, what do you mean mod? Can you explain uh, what is, uh, what do you mean as a mod? Also, welcome Train Show 2 and IT Studios. Welcome to the live stream. Yes, I'm using Chroma King. Look at that. Imagine that I'm at the very streets of Metro Man of the city of Manila here. Oops. I'm in the city, guys. I'm in the city. <laughs> With the highlighted blue in the name. Okay, uh, I don't know how that works. Uh, participants. There's only two participants. I don't know uh, what do you need to be a mod for, but... Um, edit button below. Live chat. Hmm. Well, I don't really know. Uh, how how can I cancel? How can I remove the settings? <laughs> okay, let's just go back for the game right now. Your first channel got 145 subs. Congrats, congrats! You're gonna reach 150 soon. Hey, hello, Harry Paniete. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, so I can't change my... I can't remove this edit settings. So I'm stuck here. I may have to refresh my uh, live stream here. Just give me a second. Uh, I want to see if this works. 
Okay, that's clean. That's clean. Oh, congrats, IT Studios, for reaching 105 subs. Dude, you see my announcement, right? I'm almost gonna reach 5,000 subs. Yeah. So I only need like 90 or somewhere near that. Okay, okay. For now, uh, we'll check that uh, mod thing later if you really want to. But I'm gonna show you something first. So I've been working on this. I'm gonna show it right about now. What do you think? I'm working on the LRT2 uh, electric multiple unit. So I'm working on the 2000 series. So what do you guys think? And here is a picture of a comparison within the other train sets. So there's like the 2500 series, the 900, here's the 2000, uh, LRT2, here's the 203, and here's the NSCR. This is thanks to Harry Pinetes contribution for providing the uh, blueprints. Hey Harry, we're trying. To, I'm trying to show off your contribution here. So I'm working on that right now, and what you see here is basically an early work. But I'm already uh, adding. I'm already doing finishing touches within the first car. I still I'm gonna work on the second car soon, but right now I'm working on the first car. Here, you can see again the comparisons within the, uh, with the others. I'm even trying to recycle some old, old parts of the assets here because i am already created a lot of uh, unique assets that I can reuse them. <sighs> the first active working EMU in the Philippines. This is... Okay, so we're done with that and then we're gonna go back to the game and then I got something to test. Okay, you, you see this, right? You see this? What do you see here? What do you think this is? Where's the LRT1 3G? Well, the LRT1 3G is right here. You can see here. Here's the LRT1 3G. Uh, 3G. Yes, the CSUR. This is the City Skylines Urban Road. So, I plan to create Skyway. Yes, I'm gonna make Skyway soon. Because... Uh, what you see here is not enough. I'm, okay, let me just change images here. Come on. Come on, keep changing. What do you mean cheater? This is not cheating. This is a complex mod. Just to, just to tell you. This is a very complex mod. So right now, I may uh, experiment it on this one. So this is the... Uh, what is this again? North Harbor... Uh, NX. NX North Harbor Link. So I'll be building this area just to give more jobs and then adding this as our road, uh, as our road network. So I'm just gonna make this fast. Uh, what's the button again? So shift T? Yes, shift T. And then to spin it around. There we go. So if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask while I start working on this. And we'll be experimenting on CSUR while building uh, North Harbor. Uh. 
<laughs> Burp, guys. Do a crash scene. I'm not gonna do that. I don't. I don't want the crash scene. If you want to see a crash scene, uh, maybe it will show itself. Maybe here. Oh no, there's no traffic. Wow. That is clean. What happened to my automatic bulldoze? Okay, we got that part. How many crashes have you seen in your Manila so far? In terms of what crash? The system crash or gameplay crashes? In Minecraft, I have some Philippine trains. You can check it up. Really? So have you started promoting your Philippine trains in Minecraft? <coughs> okay, I think that works. Okay, that's going to work. No, I have to move this to the left. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, that works. So let's try to straighten everything here. I have four tra train spotting LRT1, 1, 2, and 3, and 4G. So you got two, uh, 2G, right? Man, this part is a mess. Zomar, uh, Zimod Zomar, welcome, welcome to the live stream. Wonder when Mr. is gonna start his so-called new Manila build. I don't know, I don't know, uh, but not gonna promise you anything about that. I have no links with Miss Moth. So you have to ask him yourself. There we go, we got a straight line over there. So right now, I'm gonna start building on this, linking all of North Manila. Then maybe I, I'll do Skyway soon, as that's going to be an important link. Then I'm gonna have to build this area next. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Continuing our build here. Wow, train show is basically filling up the chat. It's fine. It's fine. You can, you guys can have, you can chat here as much as you want. There's no censor censorship here unless you really say something really bad. <laughs> oh, do you know what's happening right now? Okay, there's gonna be some politics here, some U.S. politics. Trump has left the White House. Celebration, and Biden is right now going into the White House. I think. Well, uh, uh, in terms of system crashes, they are very rare, especially when I increase the page file to 40 gigabytes. I may have to increase the page filing again to another 50, as right now, uh, before I installed C uh, CSUR, my, uh, my modern asset count was actually at 3000 plus, that's it. But I installed this and I have 7000. So I want to be safe. I'm going to try to be safe and uh, increase my page filing. Yes, 7,000. What does this even look like? I need to see this first before I would change every anything. Okay. Ooh. Everything is a mess. There's barely anything here. Man, the North Harbor is literally just a mess here. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, I can have like an oil refinery and then oil silos. Man, this 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 uh, entire port is underutil underutilized. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for a blueprint for the 4G. <clears throat> so what is this? Is this a beach? Yeah, it looks like a beach. Okay, <laughs> this is just really bad right now. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove all of these roads. Like they're they're all chaos. We don't need any of these. Like all of these, we don't need them. From your light stream, there is a no for yeah. Uh, what do you mean unless uh, IAT Studios? What do you mean? If you have a source, tell me. Tell me! I hunger for your info. Okay, we're gonna make this into a very beautiful port. This will not be realistic to the real life port, but at least it's beautiful. Like I don't want to see an ugly, an ugly port. What is this? Okay, this is a full warehouse. And we're gonna use this road for accuracy. <laughs> you can see that I'm using a lot of uh, road types here. And I don't even use a lot of them.
du 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 Okay. Let's fix this part. So this is like a high median road. Let's see, it looks like six lanes. Hmm, what should I use here? Oh! Big urban road. Oh yeah, I have like the these big American roads. Uh, I, I should check what they look like. Yeah, I can use them. Hey Skyline Span, welcome, welcome to the live stream. You have great Manila build. I'm also confused. Why do some of Mr. Cinematic builds have some style of series? Oh, because all of his style, all of his cinematics are basically based from mine. Uh, he was like a very uh, an old fan, but then I noticed that he's literally leeching on my content. And then the biggest offender uh, is when he did the Malolos uh, City cinematic. While building the city, I have no problems, but he tried to copy the entire cinematic, which is not cool. So I basically uh, cut off from any uh, collaborations with Miss Miss Mod. Has he? He only tries to leech from my work. That's it. So I basically, uh, so I basically cut off from him and try to make sure I, I don't want to be associated with him. One of the problems though, he has controls of some of my maps and one of the ways he did that is he took it from my uh, Patreon account. So he, he basically took it from my uh, City Skylines Patreon page and then posted it on his uh, workshop uh, account which really sucks. He blatantly just took off all of my work and then posted it on his uh, workshop. It's really sad. I'm already asked him to remove him, but he never did. His uh, mother even apologized for all of his actions. Okay, so this is like a straight road. Okay, okay. And this is a river down here. So, uh, do you have any other questions? Hey, hello Cities viewers! Welcome, welcome to the live stream. I'm currently doing the city of Manila. And I'm trying, I'm gonna try to build this northern harbor. Plus, I'm gonna experiment on di this uh, mod called City Skylines Urban Road. So I'm gonna be using this to create Skyway, but right now I have no idea how this works. So I'm gonna experiment it here. And we still have time before I end the stream at 12pm. So enjoy your days guys, enjoy your time. 
enjoy the live stream. But for now, it's building time. So how's your day guys? How's your day? Right now it's raining uh, for the whole day right now for me. How's the weather in your in your areas guys? Mm. Have you ever thought of doing a Philippine theme series similar to Shedra's? Well, I did create the Philippine Cities uh, series uh, mostly in from 2016 and all the way to uh, 2018 when I evolved that to the ASEAN series but all of my Philippine cities are still there <clears throat> but if you're talking about making something like Shedras when where it's super detailed uh, no I won't be doing that uh, let Shedra handle that that's his uh, content while I do my own content which is uh, not only making this full Manila build, but also creating trains. So, have you seen this one? This is the P PNR Poncan train, which I made. Looks good, looks really good. Let's see, do I have any more examples? Uh, let's see what else did I make here I also made this one this is the LRT one so this is the LRT one three three thousand series or oh no not the three thousand series that's the LR, that's MRT three this is the one thousand three hundred series so I made this one as well basically I made mostly or not if not all Philippine trains Hey, Kendrick Yap! Welcome to the live stream. Let's see, what's your average FPS while playing? Right now, I'm playing at uh, 13 frames per second, 15 frames per second. Right now, the frame rate does not bother me. Oh, I'm at 24. Right now, it does not bother me right now, as I am easily can do everything even though I have like that frame rate. But in terms of cinematic, it can go really low. For example, I'm already started doing 4K a type of resolution here. So if I go 4K, it's gonna look good. You won't notice it right now because I'm live streaming it, but it really looks good. Like the the aliasing problems disappear 100% when I use that settings. But it's really taxing. Let's see. Okay. So this is like the fishing area of Novotas. I'm gonna. It's not really inside the city of Manila, so I'm not gonna be focusing on that. Okay. So this is going to be a cargo harbor for me. Skylines fans, thanks for explaining. Recently, Miss Mo had made a rant on his YouTube channel about the rivalry that you two had, and he claimed that he was kicked out from the ASEAN FB page. Yeah, he was kicked out for being super toxic, and there is no rivalry. 
uh, everything he did is basically copying me. He has no uh, original content in his channel right now. Besides the only original content that I can think of from uh, that is like City Skylines base is the uh, what is that called? The the Cebu Cordoba Bridge. Yeah, that's it. That's the only unique thing he made, even though it doesn't really look that good. But it's still the only unique thing he made. Which I applaud because I want him to do only one thing. Original content. Which he has failed several times. So I basically distanced myself from him and I don't want him to be like a... Uh, constant, what's that wor uh, word? Uh, annoyance. Plus, he's been wrecking havoc in the FB page, especially uh, when he tried to censor me from uh, basically the telling the truth. What's this? Uh, why is this road so? <laughs> this this road layout is so weird. It's a bit confusing. Ah, no, no. So this is parking. Okay, okay. Okay, this is wrong. Lodi, is that the South Harbor? No, this is North Harbor. Way north. This is South Harbor. Which is uh, basically done and we'll have to redo again because... Uh, disasters tend to break a lot of buildings here. We'll have to fix that uh, on a later date. I may also use this place to dispose of trash. Yeah, this can work. I've seen other people who done worse with their power of coupling mo uh, copying models. The Philippine train assets are so nice, really, really fits for any Southeast Asian country. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, hope that you guys would be so kind to as to uh, upvote my work. It's really hard for me to make those. Especially the troubleshooting and then fixing it again. So I keep coming back and fixing any problems the assets would show. Okay, we're gonna need a, a fat road here. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah? Okay. So it's not that big. There we go. I'm back. I went on hunting for stuff. Keep the hunt. We'll continue to watch your career with great interest. Man, I've been doing a lot of Star Wars references. Star Wars Battlefront? That's a really fun game. Uh, which city do you think has the best aesthetics and vibe? Manila, Baguio, Cebu City, Iloilo, or Vigan? Mm. 
right now vegan has a really good charm manila is the, literally the seat of power but there is still a there's still lots of images of urban decay baguio i've been to baguio once uh mostly in 2012. well the experience is good the only off-putting is when i saw those a uh, large amount of houses that basically combed the entire mountain. Let's see, Iloilo City, I have no comment because I've never been there. So I can't really give my uh, full thoughts uh, in about that city as I've never been there. Cebu City, also never been there, but... Remember that Cebu is one of the uh, most uh, progressive city right cities right now in terms of uh, projects, in, in terms of infrastructure projects, especially the bridge that will change the entire skyline of Cebu City. Okay. What are these? Let's see what else should we, need, should we need to do here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to connect these uh, roads. There we go. Cebu City Skylines, <laughs> get it? Rumors are everywhere about Baguio's ghost. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean about Baguio's ghost? Can you elaborate about Baguio City's ghost? I type it in the chat so I can read it out loud. <clears throat> wow, I never knew Miss Note would be that toxic. From what I've learned, he has created his own FB page where he'll regularly announce his works and cinematics, yet he hasn't posted for a while. Yeah. I don't re I don't attend to his page uh, as he just created that out of uh, the reason he got kicked from my page. <coughs> also, is he he is not the only person who got who, who gets banned in City Skyline groups? Uh, he's been banned as well in the main City Skylines Discord server for being way too toxic. And he was even toxic to other YouTubers uh, when discussing about the very map that he stole from me. Which is sad. Oh my god. <laughs> I just I just noticed here the CSUR. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, there's so many! Yeesh. Oh my god, I got I have to learn all of those. Where's my trap? There's there's there, there it is, my parking. I'm 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 just looking for my parking right now. Mm, rip guys. Any plans for fictional versions of your cities like Manila with futuristic assets or following former master plans? Maybe I can do like solution uh, videos of what I can do to improve. Like, see this tondo? I want to demolish all of it. <laughs> and then redevelop that into something that shows respect for Manila, for the city of Manila. Like, removing all of the shanties and then replacing it with actual affordable housing, plus having a cable a car system, which is way more cheaper than a light rail. 
do you think Manila is fit for European city or American city or maybe in between? Well, the thing is, Manila is the melting pot of all of those cultures. So you can see like American style, European style, and then the Filipino style uh, works here. So all cultures, Asian, American, European, well not really African, but most of the cultures you will see here. Manila is truly a global city. Okay, well, I'm gonna start working on the quay systems. But first things first, let's just add a few more roads. So one here, all the way here. And then it just extends all the way up here. Yeah. And then some parkings down here. There you go. Oh, what I can do here is that I have this uh, mod. Uh, mod editor. Uh, let me just disable this and then activate the mod editor. Node editor. So if I click this and then corner offset, so it will become very wide. What's happening here? So like that. So it looks a bit more natural in terms of curvature. There is a new Spanish Filipino colonial asset in the workshop recently. It's awesome, the Philippine ancestral house I think. So what's that name? So the ancestral. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> yes, I, I do have the building itself. Maybe I can uh, put it here in the Manila build. Whoa, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of assets just disappeared. I wonder what uh, went away. Well, well, those are uh, gone now. I don't know what happened. Oh, I think the ones that disappeared are my Lugo houses. Yeah, I think my Lugo buildings are gone. What happened? Yeah, my Lugo houses are mostly gone. What happened? Most of the buildings disappeared. Mm hmm hmm. Now if I just add this. Oh, they're not Rico. Ah, uh, I have to Rico all of them. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to reco the houses uh, soon. So for now, we'll just have to replace them with houses. Ah, uh, that is the so sad. It is the so sad. Ah, oh, buildings disappeared. Yeah, a lot of the buildings disappeared. Maybe I be because I've been doing a lot of purging of old files, like old assets that I don't use anymore. Maybe it just became a victim. There's an, uh, let's see. Well, I'll come back for that later. 
For now, let's just finish this. What the? <laughs> okay. Reset. Whoa, so Mismat got kicked out from a lot of groups, also his reddit page, his posts are often neglected, I'm not sure but I think he, it's because his overall style is generic. Well the problem is that he never improved any of his uh, styles, that's it. He just copied from me and that's it. When I told him to stop it, he never improved. So he basically stagnated and Basically, went nowhere. I think he's just trying to spam as much content as possible, but because they don't have any sheer amount of quality, it becomes really bad. So right now, I've slowed down. In, I've even slowed down in terms of how I started building my cities. Like, look at this. I started building this Manila map in July. This was I started working on this in July while also working on Philippine trains. So you you've seen how much I've uh, I've changed my content. So it's no longer like one map for 2 weeks. It's now just building this and then trying to make it as good as I can, as as good as possible and then making a lot of content out of it so one of one of the really uh, time consuming is basically this uh, I'm still working on this uh, this station, the Tutuban station like I'm getting, I'm still getting lots of problems with it like why do I have a EMU here that is not being pulled by oh yeah last week I <laughs> I electrified the uh, PNR line what do you guys think what happens if you if I electrify the PNR line like this is fully electrified okay good night Han Harry good night Harry see you on the next stream So imagine that. Man, well, <laughs> I made it way longer than I should. Yeah, this is a working 10 car. This is a working 10 car a set. And this is what the literally the place where I do my cinematic sh uh, pictures here, my screenshots. Here, uh, enjoy this for now. Enjoy this. Wait, I'm gonna slow this down. Hello, Ryan Martinez. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Build the Manila Tranvia or any old Philippine trains from the past will be included in your train assets as well. So, if you want me to do the Tranvia, I'm gonna need <laughs> blueprints of that train. And maybe Dominic Ramos will use it in, uh, for his alternative Manila build. Yes, I know Dominic Ramos. He, he's making like an, a 1960s version of the uh, city of Manila. Maybe he can use that. Harry, come back! Give us a Tranvia! So this one, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of work for me to do here. 
one of the uh, one of the reasons why this is like super time consuming is because I have to keep coming back because there are so many errors in terms of making it uh, work properly. Why is this still flooded? Stop it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to add warehouses, silos, shipping containers. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this location basically for industrial and service as, uh, areas here. Have you heard of the have if you have ever heard of the Singapore housing project or HDB projects do you think that kind of housing strategy strategy will fit the solving country's housing problems uh, for me uh, one of the biggest problems is transportation that is a bigger problem than housing because we can build houses wherever we want but, but the problem is people from the from the poor sector will not move in there they don't want to move in there one of the reasons why is that their jobs are in the city while the houses are so far away meaning if they move into those houses they can't go to their workplaces because it's way too far so the biggest solution right now is to transport millions of people per day tens of millions of people per day Meaning they're, they're gonna need, for example, train lines uh, more than just north-south commuter because NSER is just a small solution. They're gonna need at least five more commuter rail lines. Uh, two of them should go to the north, uh, one going to basically where the airport is going right now. So that is being handled by MRT7. And there, there should be another rail line that goes to Rizal. Then another one, and then there should be three more rail lines to the south. One is the NSCR, one is uh, should be going to Cavite and going all the way to Batangas, and for the third one should be in the middle, in between. Uh, in between. Uh, Cavite and NSCR so basically going to a lot of residential areas from San Pedro, uh, Binyan, Santa Rosa, Cabuyao and ultimately to Calamba and all the way to Tagaytay because many of the industries uh, also many people of the suburban area live there What, what in your opinion is the greatest Philippine railway? In terms of what? Are you talking about uh, numbers, uh, which is the most efficient or which has the best trains? Right now, the best Philippine railway is LRT1 because it serves the most people and has the most trains. Right. Also, it is the most efficient in terms of uh, basically moving as much people as possible and the extension will greatly help uh, basically for the residents and then the commercial districts in that area 
Second will be MRT3 because uh, its purpose is to lower the traffic of EDSA, which it did at first. Then, uh, because of uh, urban expansion and the increasing am amount of cars, MRT3 is like a uh, temporary solution but became a problem of itself because uh, it basically outweighed the demand. There was so much demand that MRT3 could not handle it. Right now, the solution is to add more trains and then add more station. One of the best things to do is to extend it to MOA and all the way to PITX because that would lessen the demands for V uh, for private vehicles in the Toro pair and the other uh, thing that it would do is to increase the reach for other uh, commuters the third most important will, will be the PNR itself the main south commuter the reason for that is because of its how far reaching it is. So the Metro South commuter uh, would go from Manila all the way to Calamba in terms of active rail line use. So it has the most far reaching of all uh, Philippine rails. <coughs> and then building the NSCR will dramatically increase the uh, dramatically increase uh, rail ridership and would decrease vehicle ridership temporarily for Metro Manila same as Skyway uh, Skyway is going to be a temporary solution as the increased amount of vehicles being bu uh, bought and this year alone might negate the Full on benefit of Skyway. <laughs> so it might be possible for the Philippines to have a similar mass transit uh, metro transit system like Japan, where you can go home to your province by just taking the train. For now, yes, but the problem, the biggest problem right now is right of way as the best train lines to go through is tends to be covered in so many houses that is really hard to buy <coughs> okay let's see oh the quiz Good night, dear sir. I will have my slumber. Good luck to your build. And those watching, subscribe to Gilbert. He's close to 5k. Thank you, thank you, IT Studios. Thank you very much for the uh, shameless advertisement <laughs> to my channel. Yes, I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. I'm only ne less than 90 subscribers away to reach that milestone. If you if you would if you guys would be so helpful to help get me to that milestones, thank you very much for your support. As because there's a lot of demand, I will continue uh, play uh, making more content for City Skylines, creating new assets for you guys to enjoy, and more live streams for us to have fun with. I'm still thinking what I can do to celebrate 5,000 subscribers. I'm thinking of either a giveaway or a cel celebratory live stream that uh, you may want me to do. Like, for example, sing. <laughs> don't, please, don't tell me to sing. I'm not a good singer.
Do, 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 do. Wow, you have more subscribers than Mismot? Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious that I have more subscribers than Mismot. And he's really pissed about it as well. Like he's saying, how come I have more subscribers and how how come does Gilbert had more subscribers than me than me? I make content like him. How why does he deserve more subscribers than me? When are you going to play, play Battlefront? Do you want me to do it on Friday? I can do it on Friday. I played a lot of Battlefront last Saturday. It was so fun. <laughs> Super cancer. I've been singing the I Am Dark Mall music. I am Dark Mall. Dude, we have so much fun. I tried contacting you then. You were you were not available, I think. Oh, also, uh, Ryan, I finished their billions uh, last night. It was, uh, how would I say, disappointing. <laughs> like I was expecting a, a a huge horde of zombies, like billions, but no, I was able to. Repel all of them without difficulty. So what do you guys think? Should I do a giveaway for my 5,000 uh, subscriber special? I may do a contest just to help me get there. I think Shedra has told Mismot in a certain comment section that he and Gilbert are exactly the same person and Mismot promised to change his style. <laughs> no, I'm not Mismoth. Also, I've also done some collaboration with Shedra. <sighs> Where we made we actually made uh, asset together. Here, I'll show you one of the uh, assets that we made. Feast on your, feast your eyes on this. Wait, let's. Do, you know what? Uh, let me save. Let me just save first. What will our consequence be if we ask you to do the thing? Yes, I'm not asleep. I don't know. I'm not a good singer. Let me just tell you that. Also, I might get copyright strike. That might be a possibility. <laughs> also, I don't really mu know much songs unless I hear it in the radio and then sing along. That's it. Like, if you tell me what to sing, I may not know the lyrics or... Not know the song itself. That's the Kenzo Memorial Circle monument. Nice, yeah. So I, I basically created the model a few years ago and then forgot about it. And then when I found it again, I just uh, asked Shadra if he can make an asset out of it. And he, he said yes. So we basically collabed and created this um, monument. So imagine that. There is a Kesson Memorial sir, uh, sh m a monument at the heart of... Oh, I can't do it here. Here! What happens if I put the, <laughs> the Kesson Memorial Shrine <laughs> in the city of Manila? You know what? I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay. Uh, this is the reason why I get lots of lag. 
Please game don't crash. Okay, there we go. It's not bright enough. Let's make it bright. I want to make it as cinematic, the image as cinematic as possible. And I got something here. So, do you know the forest brush uh, mod? This is a very useful mod for creating forest. So I, I have something called the tropical brush that I made here. And then I'm gonna surround it here. So I basically have a tropical forest inside Metro Manila. Like look at that. And then I'm gonna add something called a grass brush that I made. Man, let me just disable <laughs> Uh, U -Lod. I have like U Lod where I can remove a lot of uh, low quality details here. Okay, this is the grass brush, so I can like add a bunch of grasses here. So I basically have a patch of grass everywhere. And then I have like the coconut br brush where I can have a full on. Coconut forest. Remove auto density, please. Oh, I can't do it because I have like the grass brush place there. Okay, let's try to take a screenshot here. Okay, you see this? It looks really bad. So if I enable U Lod, wait, wait. Let me just enable U Lod, and it's gonna look really good. Three, two, one. There you go. Meet Kessen Memorial Circ uh, Monument and the Rizal Park. Oh no no, uh, I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. Let's go down here. Walking distance. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, we're just gonna change our lighting here. <laughs> the. Is that cursed or what? That's also one to one scale. Okay, let's remove this. Oh, while you guys are here, also, welcome, that food. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, while we're still here, I wanna show you guys this one. Do you. Okay, uh, let me just disable U-Lod again. U-Lod is very useful for screenshots and making cinematics. I've been using that now just to make high quality videos. So right now I have that disabled and then the game's playable again. Much more playable than U-Lod being enabled. So this is my Tutuban station, right? So it looks, it looks like it. It looks good, right? So... This is a parking lot, right? Currently, this is supposed to be going to be the site for Tutuban Station for the North-South Commuter Railway. And I got something here that I haven't shown to anyone yet. So, if you go to my find it and then search for NSCR. Oh, what is this? I have my to the ban station here so right now this is not yet available on the workshop because I'm still working on it uh, no reworking because there's a lot of problems so I'm gonna place it right here for now I don't know I'm gonna place it here in this empty lot for you guys to see 
Da da Tutu Ban Station. This is still in development. I'm so making trying to make this work. But for now, this is what it looks like. A Hotel de Oriente Manila right now is in uh, is in uh, Morong, is in Bataan. But for now, what do you guys think? To the Ban Station! This is still early work. This is still early work. This is not yet ready for release. As I found out that I overlap the the, the model with the same model. So right now it has this <laughs> it has twice the it has twice the a polygon count. This has like fifteen thousand triangles. Even though it's supposed to be like six thousand even though if it's it's supposed to be like six thousand. So I imported this twice. So there is a lot of problems with this. Like you see that? There's a roof here, but if you go under it, you don't, there is no roof. Like, oh no. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. So right now, I cannot use this. So yeah, this is completely unplayable as of now. But what do you guys think? So, so what a beauty, you really like it? This is an early teaser view. I'm redoing this right now, but I really want to make trains. Okay. Right now, it's gone. You don't see it right now. But I may release it maybe late February or maybe March. One of the reasons why I'm doing that is because of this. I'll show it to you right about now. I've already showed this from my audience early, but I want to show this to you guys right now, the people who just joined. This is the LRT2 2000 series. Yes, I've thanks to Harry Pineta, he was able to hunt and find the blueprints for me, and now I'm making it right now and then adding it to City Skylines. This will be in City Skylines maybe next week or the a week and a half. What do you guys think? LRT2 in City Skylines. Meaning I'm gonna have to start making the LRT2 line. <laughs> uh, okay. Enough shenanigans, enough shenanigans. Let's. Okay, I deleted that uh, building. Okay, wait a minute. Imagine this. You see, like, that building, the Pambansang photo bomber, and I was like, boom. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. I I'll put that back. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go back to our build. <laughs> I straight that. Hello there. General Kenobi! General John Emmanuel Ramos Anderson! Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Okay, where are we? No, here. Oh, RJ, I've seen a lot of your. Uh, screenshots. How are you enjoying the game? Have you have you uh, did you have fun? Have you used any of my mods? I need to know. Doggies.
Oh, don't wanna lag. Okay, let's lower this a bit. Oh, that is perfect. There we go. What is your favorite country other than the Philippines? Japan. <laughs> no question about it. Okay, that works, that works, that works. So, uh, let's talk about something else. What do you guys think about Biden becoming the president now? Like, literally. Uh, Biden is going to the White House. He will become the 46th president of the United States. That's Mel Lopez Boulevard that I see in your stream. What do you mean Mel Lopez? Is that uh, this uh, street? I saw your 2500 class diesel electric locomotive asset video. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. It is now available in the workshop, so you can you guys can enjoy it. That's Radial Road 10? Yeah, it is. Hoping for more train assets for the PNR. Right now, what I don't have is the 8000 series, so the PT Inca DMUs. That I need to find. So someone has to find that for me, and then I'll and then I'll make trains for that. I really want to contact look uh, Mark Masankai. He has like the models for the 8100 series. Maybe we can trade. Uh, I can provide him the model for the 2000 series for the LRD2 and then he can provide me the 8000 series for PNR. Okay. We can add buildings now, so let's try to add some water sources. Echo Advanced Inland Water Treatment Plant. Yeah, we can do that. We can add some treatment plants. And we can do it here. And then we can add some silos. Agricultural huge green silo.
Let's see, there should be like oil tank. <clears throat> Better have to add a rail line soon for the MICT from to demand for freight, especially containers. I can do that. Like for example, uh, I can get, create a freight line here that goes here, goes straight all the way to Tutuban because that's what it looked like before. So it's gonna cross the street, then it's, it's then it goes here. That's where it goes. Wait, what? Uh, so, uh, oh, okay. What happens if I put this here? Oh no, it works. Hmm. Ooh. There we go, that's good. So we'll have to add more here. Waste oil refining plant. Napchak uh, cracker plant. Okay. Gonna be off. Have a good night. Yeah, okay, okay. Good night, John Emmanuel. Ramos Henderson, good night. Okay, let's try to give it another water water source. Crank reservoir. Okay, we'll do it here. Let's see, what else can I do here? We can add another water source, like I'm gonna put it here. Yes, there should be a passenger station for the PNR in North Harbor for passengers leaving the harbor. Just as it had been in the 1970s, hope the PNR considered to revive it. Well, I, what I know that is uh, they're gonna be building the L LRT, right? LRT West there. What else is in here? Oh, I think I'm just gonna make it handle waste. Yeah. Waste transfer... Transfer facility? Yeah, I'll just have to... Use this area to handle waste. Let's see what else is in here. More warehouses, warehouses, warehouses. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be adding some plants for imports. Yeah, we'll just have to use this as a oil industry area.
Also, the PNR also had a line from Paco all the way to Naik in Cavite province which had been abandoned in the late 1930s. Yeah, I think uh, basically they lost so much money. Uh, I think it was not profitable. That's, that's why it was abandoned. Oil industry storage, yeah, that's going to be useful. Hoping the PNR revives it in the future as a direct link to Naia and the Sangli Airport as well as the Cavite Gateway Terminal. Oh, storage, storage. This is a giant warehouse over here. Okay, this will handle as much oil as it can. So, uh, petroleum. His own industry oil products. This will all be oil products. I cannot wait to ride those new passenger trains from Inca this month or next, Gilbert. What I'm talking about. Are the brand new commuted coaches Inca produced not for the PNR? Yeah, uh, that's what I th thought as well. So I have all of this for the purpose of import and then export because there, you can't produce, you cannot produ produce oil here. So. Okay, next things next is that we need a place to import all of those uh, shipments because uh, ships go here and here. So what I'm going to do is that 
I'm gonna create a shipping line, a shipping lane here. Passenger cargo. Okay, we're gonna need another shipping line. There we go. <laughs> okay, next things next is I'm gonna use these ones for uh, or inputs, imports. Okay, we'll do it here. And then we're going to give it a touch of industry here. We're going to give it this land for the purpose of uh, ore imports. Oh, I, I can't build any of these. Okay, so I'm just gonna have all of these for importing and exporting uh, mining materials. Cookie. <laughs> What's the cookie about? Yes, cookie. Cookie's good. Cookie's good. Oh, let's have some parking here. Oh, 
road maintenance, There we go. Hey, Core TV! Welcome! Welcome to the live stream! Currently, I'm doing this. This is like the very North Harbor. And I still haven't tested my uh, new type of roads here. Okay, okay. Now that it's basically done, you can see that it's already getting like ore trucks. I'm processing all of that. Okay, you see this road, right? This is like the NLX connector. The reason for that is I have this mod. The City Skylines Urban Road. Now, we're gonna test it. Okay, so for example, what's this? If I click this and this, oh, what is this? Okay, now how do I make this work? Okay, let me just save this right now. I may have to watch some tutorials. Okay, now that we're here. So one of the things I need for it to do is to... First things first, have an elevated line over here. So I'm basically gonna go CSUR and I want a... 1, 2 and 1, 2. 
No. So one. One, two. No, not that one. So one, two, and one, two. And then make it elevated. Okay, so it works like that. But I need also to have this going backwards as well. So to right. So with a C. So what does that look like? Okay, I got the three lane like that. And if I have this one as well, no, it's not working. Mm. Okay, I got that. So how do I make it also go backwards? Okay, how does this work? Okay, I'm, I'm also just watching right now. Okay, how do I change this uh, symmetry to... Uh, how do I change this? Oh, what happens if I remove the C and then... There we go! Okay, we got ourselves some symmetry. There we go. So right now this has uh one two three one two three okay so we got three on both So first things first we're gonna have to straighten this out I'm watching someone else's video right now Are you planning to do the rest of PNR to Governor Pasqual? Maybe maybe What is the most painful thing imaginable? Uh, the most painful thing is basically no matter how hard you do and if the results are bad and no matter how many times you try it and then try to do something else if it's the same results that's the most painful thing that you'd experience repeating failures even though you have so much effort done and trying to make it do something else Okay, now we got this place up and working. We're gonna continue with our build here. So, if I put this down right now, go to a straight line, it should look like that. And then we are just gonna try to. Oh, that looks good. So 
So this is what it looks like. And then if we transform this into a elevated road, okay, it looks like that. Meaning we can raise it up. PNR to the Gupan is an ama ama amazing part of history. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. The only thing I don't have here is spellers. So we need pillars. Hmm. Why is there no videos about pillars? That is does that mean I have to download the pillars pack? Okay, we'll deal with that later as long as I have like a road here. Okay. So that's how it, how it works. So let's try doing it here. Oh, we do have pillars. So for elevated pillars, I would use the ramp pylon data as that is the most realistic type of Oh that. Yeah, it's realistic. Highway ramp pillar? No. Everybody gangs until the skyway floats in the air without pillars. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny. I'm still looking for the right pillars that I can use. Okay, for now, we'll keep using the ramp pylon data as that is the most real, uh, the one that we use. I wish we, I had something thicker. Oh wait, it's using something else. Yeah, uh, we'll ignore it for now. We'll try 12 meters. Okay, we got ourselves a working line here, yeah? Is that accurate? Is that accurate? I'm gonna load up maps at google.com and then see what it looks like from that le from that level. When I feel old, PNR's Hyundai Rodham DMU is 11 years old. do that okay it's not it's not working so I'm gonna have to put it there then move the whole thing like so there that works Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, it goes all the way here.
Let's see, it ends all the way here. And then I'll just move it. Why is it not showing pillars? Oh, remove this and we got ourselves some feet. Now, what happens here is that we can separate this. So, what's going to happen here is that um, How do you do this? So we got like three to four. Over on the right side. And we put it here. But that removes the other one. Okay, how does this work? Ah, dang, that looks cool. Wow, that's how to construct elevated highways on top of existing roads. We should be coming up to the Hyundai Rotem's 12th anniversary in about a few months, in March 2009. Okay, now I need to have this, but I need to start separating this so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna watch some videos how to do an interchange electrics road walls to break up the longer Oh, okay, okay. From the looks of it, what I'm seeing here is that this has to be like two lanes. Okay, so if I remove this and then do it here and here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has to be like this. And then I can do a something like this one on the right. So like this. So how many oh, is this? Oh no, it, okay, it goes a bit down there, okay, okay. This is really, con this is for, for me, this is very complex. Okay, so I'm gonna try to create another lane over here. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna place it right about here. And then I'm gonna try to make them touch each other, I think. No, that's not how it works. Okay, okay.
so if I have this one, this one, this one, but so this one, how does this work? Okay, first I have to. Uh, let's fix that first. Okay, back here. So this is three lanes right now, and then I should have like a fourth lane? See, it goes from here. There's a lot of things for me to learn for now, and I think I'm gonna have to do it after the live stream. Sorry, guys, if you expect me to do this all within 15 minutes, but no, uh, I'm still very confused on what I'm supposed to do here. We ran out of funnies in the funny store. Gotta go by. Also subscribe to Gilbert. He's aiming for 5,000 subscribers. He's about 90 subs away. You can change your mind soon. Alright, bye. Good night. I watch Imperator videos on how to play City Skylines Vanilla. Nice, nice. So RJ, are you planning on using mods? guys okay I'm saying this to four lanes instead No, no, I have to do it here. While this one stays... At three each. And then, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, so there's a lot for me to do here just to make it work. So I'm just gonna watch some tutorials, but I think that's going to be it for tonight's live stream. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, tonight's live stream, this is Gilbert, and I hope you also enjoyed the, the green screen. I think it's getting wet from the rain, from the wet walls. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next live stream. I think I'm gonna do some Battlefront live stream on Friday if you request it. And that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.